All right, it's time to continue this radical game with <laughs> like metal music in their menu. Uh, I think I'm just keeping going. I think this is just um, yeah. If you want to print out the guide, um, which I'm gonna get it printed out, but uh, but I, I like I don't think I need to show it on screen. Um, because it's it's mainly just to help uh, uh, remember some of the programming language stuff. But uh, if there's something important in the game, I can always bring up the digital version. But uh, I think, yeah, we did. Oh yeah, we had the meeting after ordering the pizza, and then now we're doing something different. Hack your body to repair a damaged nerve in your arm, huh? So about that left arm of yours, the medicine stops your condition from spreading, but it can't fix things like that. I'll need to take care of that yourself. I mean, hack my own body? Yes, exactly. If you can hack anything else, why not your own body? Interesting. Whoa. <laughs> this got, like, very biological all of a sudden. This kind of reminds me of uh, some of the stuff going on in... Uh, Ooh, can I remember the name of it? <laughs> it came out last year. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Um, but there was a cool game that came out last year that was just story-based. And part of it was, like, you had to keep healing yourself because you were kind of a cyborg. Sizzin' Sleeper. All right, anyway. Read a value from the nerve connected to your central nervous system, CNS. Okay, and relay it to the nerve connected to your arm, arm. <laughs> Clamping the value so that it never goes below negative 120 or above 50. Repeat ad infinitum. Since this task takes place inside a network you control, that is your own body, it's not necessary to leave no trace. Your X's should be written to operate indefinitely. Oh, okay. Note that nerve is a hardware register, not a file. You can't use it directly in your code like any other register. For more information about the phage, see debugging the phage in the first issue of the zine. Well, <laughs> I might have to bring that up then, because um, that might actually be a bit relevant. I'm just having a look on my uh, guide, which I have open on a separate tablet. Uh, I just want to see what this debugging, yeah, this is a, uh, three-page thing? Yeah, it looks like a three-page thing. Alright, let's just look at it really quick. Let me try bringing it up. So I feel like this is pretty important to the story of the game. Um, there we go. So... Bugging the phage. A mystery disease known colloquially as the phage that slowly turns the human body into computer parts sounds like the realm of science fiction or conspiracy theorists, but in this case it's sadly all too real. Huh. The phage is known to the medical community as progressive neuroplastic dysfunction, which is outdated and not an accurate name at all, or the lesser used Wurzner's syndrome. At first blush, turning into a computer may sound cool, like becoming a cyborg. Unfortunately, the phage does not turn your body into anything that resembles a working computer. If left unchecked, the phage leaves the body a lifeless amalgamation of purposeless circuitry. We know that people who use computers frequently are more inclined to get it, with all known incidents occurring in people who use computers for 8 hours a day or more spreads over the course of 6 to 18 months from the extremities, often the hands, but occasionally the feet, toward the body's core, slowly replacing the body's cells with connected structures of a plastic-like substance containing semiconductive substructures. Currently, the best option for treating the phage is to cut away the affected tissue as fast as it appears, which is hardly an ideal solution. Several other treatments are in development. One off-label oral medication seems to be effective at slowing its spread, but is prohibitively, ugh, prohibitively expensive for the majority of would-be patients. This is by Floexitin Dream? Is that like a... I guess that's like the codename of someone. Just the hacker name, maybe. 
my mic peaking? I feel like it might be. Maybe I should not have it so close to my face. Anyway, beyond this, understanding of the phage is still poor, so speculation is rushed to fill the gap. Claims that the phage is an escaped experiment from a secret underground... A secret government lab researching human computer interfaces are unverifiable, as are any of the frankly silly ideas around a kind of mystical computer rapture where carbon and silicon life forms will join together to form a new higher form of consciousness. One thing we can empirically test is the idea that the phage was indeed originally designed as a way to facilitate direct human computer interfaces. As a graduate student at a respected medical school, I was able to use the lab to do a little off the books experiments on my own with an acquaintance afflicted with the disease. For, ob for obvious reasons, we are both going to remain anonymous, anonymous, interfacing with phage nodes as exahosts. Perhaps the most interesting thing about phage infected tissue is that it does in fact seem to provide interfaces that can be connected with uh, connected to with off-the-shelf hardware debuggers. I use a Mitsuzen HDI-10, typically used to debug EXA-based embedded systems for the experiment described here. By replacing the HDI-10's probes with conductive high-precision tweezers, I was able to connect to the phage node cluster shown in the microscoped image below. Each phage node was enumerated as a small host with corresponding links between connected phage nodes. The absence of proper link idea IDs, the firmware for the HDI-10 appears to auto-enumerate its own. Okay. It's known that phage nodes have an affinity for nerve and nerve-like cells, disrupting neural behavior and causing the degenerative sy symptoms associated with the disease. Further supporting the idea that the phage was designed to support human-computer interactions, phage nodes connected to nerve cells present hardware registers in their corresponding hosts that allow the electric potential of the attached nerves, nerve cells to be measured, excited, and suppressed. Units appear to be in millivolts. For the uninformed, nerves have a resting potential of around negative 70 millivolts, can spike to around 50 millivolts when excited, and can fall as low as negative 120 millivolts when suppressed. Huh. Injecting X's into phage nodes? Given this initial work, it seems like it should be possible to inject X's into phage nodes in a human host and program them to repair neural processes that have been disrupted by the growth of those very same phage nodes. I'd like to try this next, but it's obviously a risky proce procedure and is frowned upon in the medical community, hence the need for secrecy here. It's unfortunate that a one-off custom therapy like this would be unlikely to get regulatory approval. I'm going to be making an attempt to perform this, and we'll report back with more information. Huh. What is this TWN at the end? That must be some sort of end file reference I don't understand. This is just like an ad. Okay, interesting. So that mentioned the, those values, negative 70 resting potential, 50 when excited, and not negative 121 suppressed. I think that's exactly what I saw in the game. Clamping the values that never goes, yeah, so it's like within the regular bounds, okay. So, read, I need to read a value from the nerve connected and relay it to the nerve connected to your arm, clamping the value so that, what does that mean, clamping the value, relay all nerve signals as indicated. So, okay, so just to, um, so if I say link 800 and then, um, is it grab? I think it's grab. Do I just say NERV like that? Does that work? Uh, it's not even letting me play. Why is it not? Did I do something wrong? Oh. Oh, I guess that wasn't accepted. NERV like that? Does that work? Oh, it, okay. So I grab that. And then it just says file ID not... Wait. No, was I not able to grab it? Huh. That value sh Wait, what? What is this? HR10. How do I read from these these things? Let me look up in the manual if it says anything about this. Cuz they said something like 
Note that a uh, pound nerve is a hardware register, not a file. You can use it directly in your code like any other register. Oh! Oh, right, okay, so... Oh, I see, I see, I see. So it's it's like one of these and not like a file. I, I totally misread that. Okay, so I don't need to grab it. Um, so is there... I'm confused though, because in there's an in and an out. Do I need to even move anything anywhere? Like, can I just say... Can I just say like... Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm so confused. Uh, I need to clamp the values so that never goes below negative 120 or above 50. What does that mean? Clamping the values so that... Like, does that mean that I... I I don't understand, actually. Um, so I can do like... So I'm think, I think what I can say is copy nerve. Yeah, copy nerve. Let me just try this, just to see if that works. Oh wait, something about that. Yeah, okay, I guess I need the pound symbol or it doesn't work. Copy. Like that. Hardware register not found. Okay, so I think I, okay. Well then I probably just need to be in um, the same host as it. So I'll go link 800 and then do that. There we go. Okay, so now I have the first value that produced, I guess because this isn't like a global thing, so I'll have to like go over there. I think that's right, okay, because because I, I just don't understand the clamp. Clamping the values that never goes below negative 120 or above 50. So like, if the value's in between, that's fine, I just... So do I, do I just say like link one a few times? I feel like I have to do it like four times. And then copy X to nerve, is that? Okay. But then there was the second value here. So I don't under, like, does this just keep spitting out values or like and also just to make sure if I if I get rid of those and I try this again no I didn't put it out okay so then those were good so I I guess I loop it around to um I loop it around so that it just keeps getting that value and putting it there I just I know that the clamping thing, I'm not going to do it properly, but that's okay. Ooh, also I can... Oh, wait, hold on. Was that just the second value? The one, because like 73... No, and then 70. I don't, I just don't understand where that, why did that second value appear? Well, okay, well, whatever, I guess... I guess I can just try just saying a mark loop and um, and then I would just link negative one a few times. Link negative one, link negative one. And then um, I think I just say F jump loop because it's always gonna be on zero. Okay so, okay, so that's doing what I wanted it to, but it's going to fail. Why is it still like, um, okay, so I guess it was just still going because this was bad. So when it went too high or too low, like what am I supposed to do with those values? Clamp the value does that mean like just bring it to the nearest value that's acceptable like cuz why like cuz can i just say like i'm going to try something dumb like what what if i just say copy x negative or uh yeah negative 70 just every time cuz that's like the resting it's like or 
or wait, sorry, copy negative 70 to nerve. Oh, okay. All right, all right. But that gives me a good idea what's going on. And then let me try this. And then if I do um, negative 120. Yes, okay, like that. Okay, so and then if I'm just going to try this. If I do negative 119, just to make sure I'm understanding this properly. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay, now I get what they want me to do. So... I can't just copy the value straight to the nerve because first I need to check if it's too low or too high. So this is where I'm going to refer to the manual and see if there's some sort of thing that would help with that. Um, oh, apparently I can just jump to the loop spot just by doing jump. Like I don't even need to test because I just always want to jump back there. I can just say jump loop. Um, Oh, right, so there's a test value thing. Test, compare the value of the first operand to the value of the second operand. If they're equal, set the T register to 1, otherwise set the T register to 0. The same syntax is used. So I could test if the value I take in from the... I don't even know what it's called, but from, from the... Oh, from the CNS. I can... I can I can test if the value I take in from the CNS is less than negative 120, and if it is, I could probably change it to negative 120. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do it, because... I'm looking at the other ones. Wow, I can generate random numbers. Okay. Um, also, what else? Um, just looking if there's anything useful here. Okay. All right, copy the name of the current host into the specified register. Interesting. Um, no, I think, I think that's what I gotta do. I think I'm just using the test thing. So, oh, you can also test alphabetical order of words. Okay, anyway, so, I think what I should do is as soon as I pick it up, I'll just say test x, um, less than negative 120 if if now my t register is oh wait no it'll it's zero by default though so or no 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 yeah because if it becomes true so if if i find if i should do a t jump here if it becomes true i need to do something okay so uh Okay, so then this is the question. Do I jump? Because I can... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll just do... Okay, so I'll say T jump to somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T jump... Okay, but I gotta mark... Oh, this is where it's gonna... Like, and this... Does this extend? Oh, it does. Okay. So I'm just gonna put another loop down here. Like, mark... I don't know, loop two or something. <laughs> I'm not being very creative. Or actually, no, here. here. Mark uh, too low. So, F, uh, no, T jump too low. Actually, I kind of like the, the four character vibe, so I'm going to do that. Oh, wait, they don't like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about to low... No, oh, what? <laughs> is oh you can't? Maybe you can't. Wait, wait. Let me. Look. What is the loop? And why can't I name it whatever I want? L. A label defined by a mark pseudo instruction. I don't know. I. 
Wait, why is that? Oh, oh, okay. I think it was just because there wasn't a matching thing. I think I can do that. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, mark too low, and then if it's too low, I want to just um, copy negative 120 to X. And then I can um, jump back to here. So this will just be, and this will be like the exit point. So mark, um, I don't know, um, I'll just say back. <laughs> and then I'll say jump back. That actually sounds nice, jump back. You jump back there and you do the thing. Um, so that covers it if it's too low. Now I need to do test x is greater than 50. And if it is, I should t-jump to 2. I'll do... Oh god, there's... A, I like the 4 character thing. I'm gonna do that. 2 hig, which means too high. Mark 2 high. And then copy 50 to x and jump back. Alright, I think this should work. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. Nice. I'm sure it's not crazy efficient, but yeah, in fact, like this is going to be way too slow to watch, so I'll just fast forward. Yay! Oh my god, that activity and cycle count are awful. So, but my size is normal. So, but what are these characters? I still don't really know what these are, because I get cycles. Size, I... 24 and activity 237 size must be how many lines of code what is activity I guess it counts it here is that how many actions were made by the yeah it's how many movements okay so I mean I can't I can only take in values while I'm in that host and I can only put them out when I'm in this host Oh, but I could get one bot to talk to the other. Oh my god, hold on. Alright, that would be way more smart. Let me... How do I... Can I, like... Wait, what? How do I, like, make another one? Because... Uh... Ooh. Ah. Copy. There we go. Okay, so I'm in the copy now. Um, so... Okay, so this is just going to require a little bit of change. But basically, I'm just going to have one X uh, go here and stay here. So that'll be this guy. So I don't need any of this. And you will just um, link 800, link 1, link 1, link 1, link 1. And then you're both set to global so you can talk to each other. And you're just going to take in a value from M. So you're going to say copy M to, ha uh, I was going to say hashtag nerve, pound nerve. So that doesn't feel right either, but I guess that's the way the manual referred to that symbol, the pound symbol, pound sign. I, I might just ignore it, I might just say copy M to nerve. Um, so, but then this has to put in that value, so, um, so I guess just once it's here, I can just say copy, um, oh, yeah, because it's copying it to X, so I'll say copy X to M. Okay, I think... Oh, but this guy needs to loop as well, so um, he'll just be... Do I need to say... Uh... Can I use the same terminology here, like mark loop, because it's a different exit? Yeah, I think that's fine. And then jump loop. Yeah, okay, that's, that's much better. I mean, it's still too slow to watch, but... 
Alright, cool. Activity is way better. <laughs> um, and cycles look more reasonable now. Okay, so that, that makes sense. I, I, I was kind of like, oh, well, if I can't just send one to the other, how would I do that? I forgot I can just make another exa. What is this? Oh, wait, what? Why is that one red? Oh, oh, that measures my, uh, that's the slowest cycle, 91. I'm kind of curious, so I can look at, I can look that up, right? What was so, why was this slower? Oh, because there were, like, actually, I have no idea. Why would it be? Oh, because there were, that one had probably the most two highs and two lows. Because I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six of them, which I guess is a pretty high amount. Is it the same, though, or is it... Yeah. Huh. Okay. And then just to... So I understand. So I know I'm understanding this probably... Because a bunch of them have 241. Like, number two is 241. I don't know why I typed it. <laughs> I could have just clicked the arrow, but whatever. And... We have one... No, wait, no, that's, oh, it's none, yeah, it's none, right, okay, okay, cool, so it just cost me however many, it cost me six extra cycles at most to uh, fix, to correct the, uh, whatever that is, correct the voltage level. But apparently some some people found ways to do this faster. I wonder how you would do this much faster though, because... Because I tested that... And then I, I jumped... Wait, hold on, I just want to count this out, so... I just want to see one where it, like... Gets a value that's, um, too high or too low. It's kind of hard to time this. Oh, I uh, know that's... Oh, these all look good. Wait, what? I thought there was supposed to be one in the very... Oh, because I'm testing test run. There we go. It's one of these first ones, like right here. Yeah, they're there. All right, so I just want to see. Jumps here, copies that, tests, and then the jump, jump. All right. Huh. Oh, you know what? I don't need to, or no, I do need to jump back. I guess I could, okay. This is, this is worthy of another copy. But just thinking, like, if I did want to improve this, I think what I'd do is my second test, I'd actually just say, is it less than 51? Because if it um, is, then I could jump to good, I'll say. And good would just be here. But in between that, I'm gonna put this thing in. Oh wait, that didn't, I tried to copy or cut that. Put it right there and then I can get rid of this. I th think that would work, but something, oh, jump, oh. Oh right, cause I still need to say, I could jump to good, I guess. Does, does that work? Yeah, it looks like it does. I think that might be an improvement. Yeah, right? 244? I think that's better. 244, 22... Oh, wait. Ooh, so the size was improved and the cycles... Oh, barely, but it was improved. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Better than nothing. Alright, I'll just... I'll leave it there. Uh, I guess I need to play it again to 
Move on. This hotfix should keep you useful at least for a little while longer. I'm glad I don't have a body. You get used to it. If you say so. Seems like nothing but a hassle, but maybe one day. Well, we can talk about that later. Ah, I broke the tab key. Stepping too much in Exodus. Ha. If you alt-click an instruction, it will run up to it and stop. Super handy. What? I didn't know. Well, now you do. Too late for tab key. Wait, what? Oh! If you alt, it will run up to it and stop. Oh, that's actually useful. Hold on. Because what they're saying is, like, I could be, like, alt-click. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? That's so... What? That's such a weird... That works so well. Whoa. Huh. Cool. I don't like this one as much as the other one because I think it's more confusing, but I'm not writing any um, notes in my code, but maybe I'll do that at some point. Cause... Okay. Cause the last dot factory produce... To produce peanut free peanut blast bars. <laughs> what? You like snacks, don't you? You don't have to answer that. I know you like snacks. That's why we're gonna hack a snack factory. Okay. It's an experiment. Hypothesis. It will be very funny. <laughs> Remove the word peanuts. File 300 from the peanut blast recipe. File 237. Cocoa mass, peanuts, malt extract, cocoa butter, salt, palm oil, cocoa powder, lactose, milk fat, hydrogenated soybean oil, artificial vanilla. <laughs> Note that the target keyword will appear in a different position in each of the 100 test runs. To view and debug each of the different test runs, click the arrow next to the test run. Okay. Okay. So I have a file that says peanuts in it next to me at the start. And then I guess this temp rate stuff is has to do with this, but I don't need to mess with that. It's weird that I can though. I feel like you could really like screw with stuff. Maybe that's what they're trying to imply. Like you're just doing funny stuff, but you could easily like blow up these machines by setting the temperatures way too high. Um Okay, so how do I find... Okay, so I think I get it. So I would, um... It's kind of weird that I even have a file with peanuts in it, because can't I just... Can't I just, like, um... Write that into a register and... Compare against that register? When I say, like, test if something is like something else? Yeah, I feel like I can't. Like, why can't I just go... Also, like... Okay, I guess I need to be... I guess I need to go over there to interact with those sort of files, right? Like, I can't... Like, just to make sure, if I say... Oh, yeah, because I need to grab it. Alright, yeah, so if I say link 800, link 800... And then, like, so why can't I just say copy peanuts to X? Oh, so why... So... Copy, copy the value. Oh, you can't put number. Oh, you can't put numbers in register. Oh, you can't put um, words in registers. Oh. Wait, so how do I do this then? Um, wait, I thought I could get words in there, though, or, because wasn't I doing that at one point? Hold on, let me just, um, check something. It was, like, it was, like, one of these, like, yeah, like, I had echo there. Yeah, and I swapped the values, yeah. Copy F to F. So... 
Okay, so I think if I'm understanding this right, I can't write words. I can't write words into my registers, but I can read words in. Okay, so then I guess I do have to say, before I go anywhere, grab 300, copy uh, F to X to copy peanuts into here, the word peanuts. And then I just want to drop it because I need to pick up another one. And then when I'm over here, I just want to say grab 237 and then, um, so what I need to do is copy, I'm going to copy, okay, wait, just to make sure that doesn't take the peanuts out of the file, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't take it out. So I'm over here with peanuts there, and I'm holding that, and then I just want to, yeah, okay, so I just, now I go into a loop, so I got, I'm going to say mark loop, and I'm going to say copy, no, copy from the file I'm holding into, uh, I guess T, I can just use T, oh wait, no, because then I'm going to be, <sighs> or can I do that? Wait, the weird thing is, I need to remove... I need to remove... Th the word... How do I change words in it? That's from, um... I'm just looking through the guide right now. Um, because, oh yeah, I would just copy, I, or wait, what, no, how would I do that? How would I remove something from a file? Actually, I've never done that, have I? Or have I? I don't remember doing that. Like, can I copy a blank value in, or... Read and discard a value from the M register. Uh, remove the value highlighted by the file cursor from the currently held file. Okay, void F, apparently. But the cursor moves after I read from it, right? So if I say copy... Yeah, then it's, it's on the next one now. So... It's weird because it's like the next thing I would do is like compare these two but if I find that that one did say peanuts it's like I would want to go back a step back a so I gotta like because okay oh oh okay I see what I can do all right so hopefully I can do this because I think I can do this one with one X that I can say um test if um x equals t that will put a value here if it's true or um if it's true um i'm just gonna be like p found like peanuts found oh and then um if it's not then just go again uh Um, jump loop. I guess I could say F jump loop just to make it clear that that's like what happens when it's false. And then if we find the peanuts, then, so I go, I can say seek, I can just say seek negative one. It goes back one step and then I can say void F. And then I'm done. And this is leave no trace. So um, I would just... What is it now? It's... I think I would do drop. And then... 
Is it kill? Oh no, it's halt. Let me see if that works. Yeah. Uh, just to make sure. I just want to see if like it's running like I wanted it to. The grab that and then so it copied this to here. Tested if these two are the same. It overwrote that, but that's okay. And then, nope, so because it failed that, we're gonna jump back. And then it copied, and this time it was true. So we found it, so we go one step back, we eliminate it, we drop the file, and we halt. Oh, and apparently I don't need to say drop, because apparently that happens with a halt, so I can just do that. Oh, I guess um, I should use that new trick, alt click. And then void, and then, yeah. All right, cool. That should be like a little bit faster. And it just searches from the front because like, what else is it gonna do? All right, it's tapping too slowly, so. Oh, wow, some people did it a bit faster though. Or a lot of people did it a lot faster. How do you do that faster? Wait, yeah, what? Because I... Is there some way you can, like, search the file faster or something? Like, because you have to... Oh, I guess I, I guess I should not test that because it's more, it's less likely that that happens. So I should swap these. If it's false, then loop. But if it's not false, oh right. If it's not false, then I can just it can just move on to here. Yeah, that makes way more sense. So I don't know if that is the main thing that was making that slow, but that's definitely a part of it. Okay, now I moved up a step. Oh, I like that. Currently 42, previously 52. Um, but how... So it's like, because how would I search through this faster? Because like, I had to grab that to write peanuts in. Did I have to drop it? I mean, but that wouldn't save the amount of cycles that I'm losing... And like, if I grab a file, yeah, that's weird. Um, grab, I mean, I guess I could have another bot just go over there, I could communicate with it, but like, does that really save that much time? I don't think so. Yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing this, like, as fast as I can possibly think I would do it. The only thing that feels like it's slowing me down is when Peanuts is further down the line. But how would I know? Or how would I? I can't, like, search this faster. And, like, it could be anywhere. So I have to go through them one by one. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't, I don't know how you make this faster at the moment, so I'll just leave it like that. But that's weird, because that's like, that looks like 25s, that's like significantly faster, and a lot of people got that, so that also makes me feel like I'm missing something obvious here. What would it be? Okay, you know, I'm just going to try something. Cause it, <laughs> cause it just says remove the word peanuts. Oh wait, I wanted to copy. Could I just, could I just like run over here, grab that, and then just wipe? <laughs> 
and then halt? Like, wait, <laughs> wait, what? I grab that, I wipe it so that there's no data on it, right? Or wait, where did, oh, I deleted it. Oh, I don't want to delete the currently held value or the currently held file. And there's no way to just delete everything. But I'm wondering if I could just like, I'm wondering if I could just like, uh, just kind of like delete everything in it. Like, like if I just kept doing void F, I, I know this is going to get stuck, but I just want to... So... Well, yeah, so I removed, I removed the, the keyword peanuts from there. It didn't say to only remove it. Aw, oh, come on. Come on. Alright, I thought maybe that was what people were doing, but apparently not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the trick is here. How would you... How could you look through the file faster? Because the thing slowing me down is just that my fastest... Or my slowest is really slow when... Uh, so actually I can just do this. The problem is my slowest one would be like 007... Where Peanuts is last. I mean... <sighs> Oh, I... Uh, if I check back and forth, would that be better? I just feel... But then, like, I, I couldn't know where it is. Like, sometimes it's... Sometimes I am going to do every search before I get to it. What? Yeah, I don't... There's not... Like, I can't, like, alphabetize a file... How do you do that? That is wild. I don't know how to do that faster. I'm re very curious how that can be done faster because I don't feel like it can. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's gonna drive me crazy, but I'll just I'll leave it alone now. I just I just like the only part that bothers me is that not only can you do that faster, but most people did it faster. So it means that they're slowest. It looks like it's around. I mean, I'm not really sure how this works, but that's 42. And then, so that must be 30, 35. Wait, yeah, how does that work? 30, 35, 40. No. So there's one, two, three, four steps. That doesn't make any sense. I don't get how this is split up. That must be like 40. Oh, maybe it's like. 50, 40, 30, 20. No, what? How is this split up? Well, anyway, if that's 50 and that's 25, halfway through that should be like uh, 37 ish. So that, that I guess, incorporates 42. But this, so then. So this must be something between 25 and like 31. So that means that. People are getting it so their slowest is like 31-ish, which is like 11 cycles faster than mine. But like, that's so much more. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's like knowing where Peanuts is right off the bat. Or, see, that, that makes me think it's like they did something like they, they just, they just removed everything from the file but I tried that and it didn't like that it didn't accept that as like a solution even though I thought it should because I thought that made sense but it seems like I need to only remove the word peanuts but to do that I need to look through the entire file and I can, like, after I read it in and do the check thing, it goes to the next thing, so I have to seek back one and then void. Yeah, otherwise it would 
get too weird. Um, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it. I don't know. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. Processing. No peanuts and peanut blast. Was that funny? Uh, kind of? On a scale from 1 to 10, how funny would you rate it? Actually, never mind. I don't know how to handle like Likert scales? More data to corpus. Let's continue. Okay, I don't understand what just happened. So, Gast, when is the next issue of the zine coming? Good question. Print shop's a little unhappy with me right now. They didn't really buy my argument that I shouldn't have to pay. Ha, <laughs> did you really try to argue that? No, but I do owe them money. Huh. Erase the record of gas debt to the copy shop. Uh, okay, that's funny. <laughs> well, let's try this out. You're going to help gas with this copy shop bill? That's kind of you. Oh, so this is... How do I know when it's me deciding to do this and when it's Ember telling me I have to do it? <laughs> um, he's an old friend. That's nice, but gas isn't paying for your medication. I'm not jealous. I'm just saying. Have fun with the copy shop server. Wait, what? <laughs> Such a weird response. <laughs> Erase gas debt to the copy shop by zeroing out his balance in the customer database. File 200. And appending a payment to the payment log. File 201. With today's date and the exact amount of his prior balance. Gas customer ID is available in file 300. Oh, okay. For more information, see Network Exploration DigiCash Point of Sale Systems. Okay, yeah, because I was going to say, like, I don't know how, like, the date thing is going to work here. Uh, this seems like a bigger one. I think I'll actually leave this for the next video, because well, I'm not going to make these too long. So, um, I'll try that next time. It looks fun, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Thanks if you watched and see it.